Hello everyone, this is MustGo and today we are going to have a full walkthrough on the Linux Local Privilege Escalation module. Uh, we are about to complete the skills assessment and I'm going to show you my methodology in order to capture all the flags. So let's start by logging into the target. Okay, so let's see what do we have in this uh, directory. LSLA. Okay. Nothing special, but the most interesting is a uh, bus history. So let's see what there is inside. Bus history. Okay, and as you can see, I also tried that before. Uh, there is a, a try uh, to, to cut a flag, flag one, in this directory. But uh, we also tried to do it and uh, there was no flag in there. So what we are going to do, we are going to try to find the uh, uh, hidden folders. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to type find slash type f name, sorry, dot star exec ls we don't want uh, errors or nothing that uh, doesn't have to do with us so grep htb student Okay, so we found uh, the directory of, uh, flag, uh, of flag one text. That's good. Let's see where it is. Actually, I'm going to capture it. So I'm just going to use cut home HTTP student config. Uh, this folder was uh, hidden, and by doing this, we, we found the flag. Okay, so this is the flag one flag is actually a reminder to not overlook hidden files so I think we are ready to search for flag 2 okay let's see who else is inside this network uh, actually this PC uh, so ls home so Barry and Mr. Ben let's see what there is inside Mr. Barry's uh, directory Okay, so we can see a flag too, but we need to see if there is anything more because we probably don't have the privilege to, to read the flag. And there is a bus history. Okay, so let's uh, cut his bus history. Home, Barry. Bus history. And perfect. So, as we can see, he started uh, MySQL with uh, root privileges, but we cannot see the password. He also started, started the Tmax uh, cell. This is also interesting. But the most interesting is uh, this. He gave us our password, and his password is I love security. Yeah, okay. He must be a big fan of security. So, clear. And I'm going to SSH to, to Barry. So I'm going to exit. SSH, Barry. Sorry, just a moment. Okay. So now we can uh, cut also flag 2. Cut flag 2. Yep, and this is the, uh, the flag. Check those uh, CMD lines. Yeah, oh, we already done. Uh, now we have to use these lines in order to find something more interesting. So I'm just going to look again.
Yep. Okay. The most interesting here is uh, this one, T Max. He started a new T Max uh, shell, and uh, I think we have to see if uh, it is still running. Actually. So, PS Ox Barry. And uh, he's running at the max, this one. Okay, so let's enter this uh, shell by using tmax s barry okay ls like two um, let's go to barry mm, barry is not the directory yeah you're right uh, i won't disagree with you ls la Okay. Let's check this history also. Mm hmm. Okay. I think the most inter interesting. Uh, thing here inside is uh, this he, he went to uh, variables and logs so let's also try to find what uh, there is inside there okay so cd var log ls and here we find the uh, flag 3 pretty interesting let's cut it flag 3 Hey, look, a flag. Yeah, how kidding. Okay, but... Uh, this flag doesn't give uh, some kind of, uh, you know, uh, guidance in uh, wh where to, to look after here, but... Uh, the logic says that uh, they should give you some backup files. So we are going to try to find some uh, backup files. Let me exit from this. Let me clear also my terminal. And uh, let's try to find uh, some uh, backup files. By using um, this command. Find name. Because backup files end with this. With uh, BAK. And, uh, nothing here yeah because I am in this location I have to go deeper okay I think there is no deeper than this and let me try again perfect so we found the backup file let's cut it to find out what there what there is inside copy and cut So, here as you can see we have uh, a username and a password and uh, what can we do with them? What is actually Tomcat? Tomcat is uh, an Apache service so we are going to open our browser and find out what there is inside. I'm going to open my browser and uh, here as you can see by default no user is included in the manager GUI role required to operate the manager HT slash HTML. Uh, in this directory we are going to put uh, the credentials we found. I've already uh, managed to type it. Here you can see uh, IP uh, 88 is the port slash manager slash HTML. So let me just uh, copy paste uh, credentials. Okay, actually, I'm just going to copy this. And Tomcat ADM. And perfect. So, uh, we don't see anything uh, interesting uh, in this uh, web page. 
The only interesting thing is uh, that we can upload something. And uh, we can upload uh, a WAR file. So we can use this to uh, transfer a reverse cell to our target. I'm going to show you exactly uh, the payload we are going to, to send to the target. This is the payload, okay? Here you should put uh, your local, uh, local IP, local host IP. And uh, here you can put uh, your port number, uh, whatever you like as a port number, okay? So, I'm going to press enter to execute it. And our payload is ready. Uh, don't look at this, we won't use it, there is no need. Okay, so let's uh, make a, a, net, a net cut. Um, actually, let's make a, a net cut uh, session with our port, and let's upload the file. File is here. Open lab, payload, open, and deploy. Okay, this is our file payload and let's see yep it works and here is a flag 4 so let's cut flag 4 uh, this is not uh, so uh, so good uh, bus but we're going to fix it I am the manager now okay and uh, Soon I'm going to be the root. Okay. Let's explore a little bit more. Let's go back. LS L A. Okay. So I cannot see flag five. But uh, something interesting I can see is uh, that he is using a uh, Python. So I can use uh, some kind of uh, py Python uh, one-liner to fix our terminal. Because uh, the terminal we are using right now is... Uh, let's see what it is. I don't know what it is. Proc. Okay. It's DAS. It's not BAS. It's DAS. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, Python. Python 3. Uh, import py one pty dot spawn bin bus uh, okay yeah that's way better okay now it's time to see what uh, commands we can use as a sudoverse if it's possible sudo l and we can use uh, bustctl, okay, bustctl, let's go to gtfo bins, bustctl, sudo, okay, if the binary is allowed to run as a super user by sudo, it does not drop the elevated privileges and may be used to access the file system, escalate or maintain privileged access. Okay, so we are going to use this, uh, this command in order to escalate our privileges. Okay, where am I? Perfect, so I am root. And uh, let's see what there is inside this, this directory. Nothing, of course nothing. CD root directory. Okay, and here is uh, flag uh, number five. But I won't cut it. I won't uh, reveal it. I think the best thing is to do the whole process uh, on your own and uh, see exactly the way to to find. Uh, how to do it. I think this is the most honest 
and uh, it's actually a very good exercise for everyone so that's it thanks everyone for uh, watching my video and i hope to see you again soon